Hello everybody and welcome back. All right, Chad, I'm excited to bring you my top picks of new game releases for the month of May. Chat, do whatever you got to do to stick around for this one. I don't know, grab a drink, grab some popcorn, get comfy on that couch, right? Because I know if you watch this one through, you're going to find games you never even thought of that you're going to love to add to your wish list. All right, but before we get started, if you don't want to miss any more monthly reviews, I'm bringing you these every month, my top picks, right? Doing all the work for you, so you don't have to. You know what to do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. You gotta hit it. You wanna smash it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't smash it. I don't want you to break your device. All right, Chad, I'm excited to bring you LEGO 2K Drive. All right, <laughs> welcome to Bricklandia, home of a massive open world Lego drive adventure. Race anywhere, play with anyone, build your dream ride, and defeat a cast of wild racing rivals from the uh, coveted Sky Trophy. All right, so the release date is May 19th, 2023. Developer uh, Visual Concepts Entertainment and Publisher 2K. This is a racing sandbox. Uh, yeah, so... Wow, <laughs> look at the pricing on this. Inflation has definitely hit this game. Holy smokes, look at that. All right, so if developers are watching this one, I would love to get my hands on a key for this and uh, do a playthrough. This looks, uh, this looks like it'll be awesome to play. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, who doesn't love Legos, man? <laughs> Drive a hamburger. <laughs> wow. Well done. Oh, you know, chicken crossing the road. Bricklandia. I love it. That's awesome. Next up, chat, we've got Occupy Mars. This one's in my wish list. Uh, it's been on my wish list for quite a while now. Can't wait. It's going to be in uh, early access. It looks like May 10th, right? So we've got uh, Survive and Colonize Mars in a highly technical open world sandbox game. I love sandboxes! If you guys didn't know and watched my channel, uh, I absolutely adore friggin' sandbox games. Let's go uh, build an upgrade your base, discover new re regions, conduct mining operations, retrieve water, generate oxygen, grow crops, and fix broken parts. Ah, uh, wow, this looks like a twofer for Pyramid Games. Oh, no, 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 it's Pyramid Games is the, de is the developer. Playway SA, that was the uh, Gunsmith one that we just watched, so they've got, they've got a twofer. Let's jump in and uh, we'll check out the trailer on this one. I'm excited. Let's go. Yo, let's get down in the rover, let's go! I'm taking the soundtrack too, it's just, so I'm just sitting here, just taking it in, you know? Oh yeah, 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 alright, cool, cool, so we got like uh, uh, an ore cart behind the rover. I, I honestly don't think that this trailer is going to do this game any just... I, I Like, looking at the other trailer, there seems to be, like, so much more, like, first-person, in-depth game content. I think this is just really a snippet, 
of what this game's looking to accomplish. And with it being early access, I, I honestly think that this is going to be huge. This should be a game on your wish list. I love the I love the bot. What's he up to? <laughs> He's taking up plants. That kind of feels like Planet Base. I watch one of my episodes, my my Planet Base tutorial episode. That uh that setup just just looks like Planet Base. Yeah, very cool. I'm excited. Yeah, we've got Death or Treat. I actually, I'm digging this. This is a uh, Halloween spirit is missing. Play is scary and help him save Hollowtown. Death or Treat is a 2D uh, action adventure and hack and slash with hand painted environments and a traditional animation. Explore the worlds and defeat hordes of enemies using different weapons and skills. This one's brought to us by Sona Studios and Hawthorne Games. All right, so it looks like it's a hack and slash, colorful hack and slash. We've got a uh, demo, <laughs> a demo you can download and, and try out for free. And uh, we'll go ahead and jump into the trailer and check it out. Death or Tree! I love the art style. The yeah, art style is kind of like cutesy, right? Like, it's something I could give my kids and like, have them play. Oh yeah, yeah. I like it, I like it. Oh look at that, it's on PlayStation and Xbox as well. Next up we've got Evil Wizard. Evil Wizard is a humor filled Action RPG that puts you in the shoes of a formal final boss. I love that idea. I love it. Uh, rise from defeat, rediscover long, long lost powers, and fight to reclaim your castle from an army of so called heroes. All right, so this looks uh, due to release May 25th, 2023. Developer a Rubber Duck Games. God, that's so funny. And publisher eHome Entertainment Development. It's a uh, villain, uh, villain protagonist, funny, cartoony action RPG. It's a single player Steam archive, full controller support with Steam trading cards. What else we got down here? Steam Cloud, remote play on TV, chat. That's, I don't know. I gotta check that out. Remote play on TV. That sounds freaking awesome. Uh, let's check out the trailer. Huh? Stupid heroes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's go villains. Let's defeat these heroes. Fight to reclaim our castle. <laughs> yeah, I like the art style in this one too. It's good. Rubber Duck Games. Next up, we've got a Above Snakes. This one is also on my wish list. So, uh, piece by piece, you create your own world and survive in a Wild West inspired survival RPG. Craft, farm, hunt, build your base, and fight in order to stay alive. Guys, if this isn't on your wish list, it needs to be. This thing is great. Uh, release date is May 25th, 2023. Uh, developer Square Glade Gamings and publisher uh, CryptoV. It's an open world survival crafting RPG game. Hey, let's go ahead and have a look at the. T
Did you see that backswing on that tree? That was crazy. Yeah, so, yeah, we're gathering resources. I mean, that's part of the crafting system, right? We're building a shelter. That all looks good. Here's where you can place your own tiles to create your uh, world, which I thought was really interesting. I love the idea of that. All right, so we've got crafting recipes. Hmm. And we've got, yeah, when you place down new tiles, you've got essentially new quests from other NPCs. I think this is just really well done. I can't wait for this one to come out so I can play this. Oh, there's the zombies! Got boss fight. Above snakes! Inkbound! Alright, so Inkbound reinvents turn-based gameplay in a fluid, ha, uh, online-only co-op roguelike from the creators of Monster Train. Alright, so it's online only. Uh, play solo or party up to divide into the magical, dangerous book of Ath Athenium Library and fight to save this rich, ever-expanding world. All right, so the release date's May 22nd, 2023, by developer and publisher Shiny Shoe. This is going to be an early access tactical RPG that's turn-based. All right, uh, let's see. So it says single player. Uh, it's an MMO, online co-op, uh, with in-app purchases. Well, there you go. Uh, You'll have some in-app purchase ability there, uh, which is probably going to drive the platform for development. So uh, let's have a look at the trailer. A single story can create an entire world, but left unfinished can easily fall apart. Monster Forge, yeah. Oh, new I like paths. this. I like that art style. Face your enemies. Fight for your story. All right, I wish they had more. I wish they had more. I, I want to see more of the uh, gameplay. Who are you going to call? Glitch Busters! <laughs> That's a joke in our family. We, we're always saying that. Yeah, the kids. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, it's a normal day on the net uh, until a virus outbreak. Yeah, well, welcome to 2020. Turns out everything's upside down. Uh, only your squad of Glitch Busters can take on the net's kookiest bugs in an online world gone haywire in this one to four person player co-op third person shooter. All right. So this is May 2023 developer uh, Toy Logic and publisher Skybound Games, right? So this will be a third person action shooter shoot 'em up game. Uh, let's see. Uh, anything else here? No, nothing there. Uh, hey, let's go check out the trailer. A cactus with a mustache. All right. Yeah, it's kind of a cute game, huh? Look at this. I never would have thought. I like it. Wow, yeah, 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 I like it. I like the art style. I love the art style. Well played, developers, well played. Totally.
Glitch Busters! Alright chat, next up we've got 10 hearts. I uh, I actually love the thumbnail, look at this. Little toy soldier guy <laughs> riding a cannonball. That's pretty cool. I actually, I love the name too. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is about it. 10 hearts. It, I think it's well thought out. All right, so behind every uh, brilliant invention hides a magical story. Uh, guide a troop of 10 soldiers through a magical filled world. This immersive narrative puzzle adventure game from members of the team that brought you Fable. Wow! Okay, that's a name drop. All right, so by developer Rogue Sun and publisher Wired Productions. I'm gonna have to do a little more research on that chat and figure out which one worked on Fable. That's, that's one of my favorite games. But in the meantime, let's check out the trailer here. Hi, my name is Reese, and I'm a designer on Tin Hearts, a narrative puzzle adventure developed by Rogue Sun. In Tin Hearts, you will solve increasingly elaborate puzzles to unravel the emotional story of genius inventor Albert Butterworth. Set in a magical toy-filled universe, players will guide a troop of tin soldiers throughout the rooms of his beautiful Victorian house. As you unlock unique powers to control the objects of this world, you will create new and inventive ways to help your soldiers reach their destination. Right, so there's a progression system. Toy drums to bounce them to safety. That's really cool. Cannons to create makeshift bridges, trains to forge new trails, and many, many, many more. I like the animation. Hearts is a puzzle and narrative game in equal measure. As you build increasingly elaborate Rube Goldberg machines to lead your soldiers through, you begin oh, cool. to realize yeah, yeah. That maybe it's not you guiding them, maybe it's them leading you. It's a whimsical, colorful, and beautiful world, but this is also a journey of self-discovery. One that will warm players' hearts, but on occasion... Honestly, this is one I could probably play with the, the game kids. unravels its deeply personal story. With Tin Hearts, we wanted to tell a contemporary, relatable tale about the struggles of balancing personal ambitions with the often irrevocable realities of life. Yet, we wanted to hide this thought-provoking parable behind the veneer of a fantastical puzzle game set in a fairy tale Victorian world full of magic, warmth, nostalgia, and mystery. Yeah, this is well put together. Yeah, I like it. All right, chat. Look out, we've got a game with crude humor, fantasy violence, gambling themes, and suggestive themes. Wink, 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 wink. So we've got Blooming Business Casino. Casino is a business tycoon sim with a narrative twist. Build and run your own fantasy casino with a bustling world of animals, drama, and dangers. All right, so this release date is May 23rd, 2023. It's on my wish list. Uh, I think it should be on yours too. I, I think I think we'll all have fun with this game. Uh, by developer Homo Ludens and publisher uh, Curve Games. Uh, this is a management building sandbox simulator. Uh, single player Steam achievements, full uh, controller support, Steam Workshop, and Steam Cloud. All right, let's go. I mean, you can uh, you can download the casino demo now and uh yeah yeah then, then buy it may 23rd right so all right let's check out the uh the crude humor shall we is blooming well not just yet that's where you come in why play against the house when you can be the house you can manage and choose with the locals. Most importantly, the VIPs. They are vital to the reputation of our... I mean, your casino. You'll need to keep a close eye on the cops, who are keeping a close eye on the mob, who are both being watched by the press. Why? Whatever side of the drama you're on, you'll experience wealth beyond your wildest dreams. Indulge yourself in glitz and glamour like never before. So why don't you roll the dice on running your very own Bloomin' Business Casino? Bloomin' Business Casino. Don't delay. Add to your wish list today. We've got Halls of Torment. Slay hordes of terrifying monsters in this horde survival rogue light. Uh, descend the halls of torment where the lords of the underworld await you. Treasures, magic trinkets, and a growing cast of heroes will grant you the power to vanquish 
Horrors from Beyond. How long can you survive? Yeah, this feels uh, feels like a lot like Diablo, the original. Uh, its release date is May 24th, 2023, by developer and publisher Chasing Carrots. <laughs> Gotta love, <laughs> love indie developers. They've got great names. Uh, it's uh, definitely an early access game. No worries, though. Uh, let's see. Single player, Steam achievements, full controller support, and Steam Cloud. Uh, let's have a look at the trailer. Here's our hero, slaying uh, skeletons. Alright, so it looks like we've got at least three different heroes that I saw there. I like the way... Th I mean, this game just kind of brings it back to the old school, you know? And that's what I miss. Yeah, there's a reason, you know, why Blizzard brought back Diablo 2, right? I mean, people were just looking for, like, this type of gameplay right here. And, uh, you know, tired of all the microtransactions and crap that goes along with, you know, the newer games. If this if this game developer does it right, I, I think they'll capture that. Yeah, we've got Ever Dream Valley. Uh, this one is on my wish list, and it should be on yours if you're looking for just a super chill game to kick back and relax. Uh, it's a farming adventure with a dash of magic. By day, restore your quaint homestead into a summer paradise. Raise crops, care for animals, and rebuild to your heart's content. Um, that reminds me a little bit of, uh, like, Animal Crossing, in a way, right? All right, at night, inhabit various farm creatures through your dreams to bring enchantment into the valley. Yeah, it sounds peaceful. It just sounds super chill, you know? Something you just kick back and, uh, yeah, just play a little bit, right? So, uh, the release date is May 30th, 2023, by developer Moon Eaters. You gotta love it. And publisher Untold Tales, Varsav Game Studios. It's the other publisher. Uh, this one's on sale, chat. It's a pre-purchase sale, 20% off. $20, not bad. I think it's worth the buy. Uh, it's single player with Steam achievements and full controller support uh, just because it's on console and PC. And then we've got uh, Steam Cloud Saves. So this is a farming sim, life sim, relaxation, adventure 3D. I love the art style. I think it's, you know, super cute, the animals and stuff like that. That's just my opinion. Let's have a look at the uh, trailer. Chat? I love llamas. I love llamas. <laughs> llamas are one of my favorite animals. Uh, you know, second to cows, but. Yeah, see what I mean? It's just, it's just super chill. Hanging out, petting cows. Oh yeah, there we go. I, I want to see some gameplay at night, you know, chat? Like, uh, you can inhabit other animals, so, I'm, you know, through your dreams. And I'm kind of wondering, like, how that gameplay works, you know? I want to be the goat. I don't know if you want to be the goat. I want to be the goat. Yo, look, I don't know, look, she's got Charlie Brown. <laughs> wearing some Charlie Brown. Now, the outfits are cool, too, huh? I like this. I'm digging this one. Picking up some stuff. Ah, what's up with the chicken head? <laughs> no pressure, man. No pressure. Just hang out, build. That's it. Ah, uh, they gave us a teaser at the end there. I don't know if you saw that. We've got Railway Empire 2. Let's see. Don the coat of uh, a clever entrepreneur. Uh, take over a small railway company in the early 1800s and turn your steam engines into the workhorse of the economy. Grow your company into the largest railway company uh, of the continent and outsmart your competitors. 
All right, so we've got a uh, developer uh, Gaming Mind Studio and publisher Calypso Media. This is going to be released May 25th, 2023. This is a transport uh, strategy management simulator. Uh, Chad, I've played the Railway Empire, the original one, uh, loved it, and uh, plan on playing this one as well. So uh, it looks like we've got online cooperative play, Steam Achievements. Uh, we've got trading cards. I'm always partial to trading cards. Uh, partial tra controller support. I'm not sure what that means, but uh, there's some some controller support. Uh, Steam Cloud stats. Ah, you gotta love stats. It's gonna be on the stat leaderboard. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, this one's on. Uh, looks like it's on sale with the uh, pre-purchase uh, sales price there. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll check out the trailer. The Industrial Revolution has laid the groundwork for a transition that will shake society and economy to its foundations. Now it's up to the visionary pioneers whose hearts beat with the steady pace of the locomotive to realize the potential. Yeah, <coughs> much better graphics. With your entrepreneurial spirit, you'll lay the tracks to turn your company into the greatest I really like empire these games. of the I really 19th enjoy century. these types of games. Tap into new cities with grand train stations. Connect them with freight and express lines. And watch a continent evolve into one interconnected community. Change the face of your country and create your own railway empire. I'm really glad they decided to renew this one and create, uh, do a railway, railway empire, empire 2. Empire 2, coming May 25th. All right, yeah, we've got a bolt gun. It's a Warhammer 40,000. Okay. Uh, load up your bolt gun and unleash an awesome space marine arsenal to blast through your uh, explosive explosion of sprites, pixels, and blood in the perfect blend of Warhammer 4,000 frenetic gameplay and stylish visuals from the retro 90 shooters. All right. Uh, this is from developer uh, Rock Digital and publisher Focus Entertainment as a, let's see, FPS shooter. It's on sale now, 10% off, uh, single player, Steve Achievements, full controller support. And uh, let's go ahead and check out the trailer. When the ruinous powers of chaos unleash their foulest abominations, who will prevail against the darkness? The Ultras! Folk Gun is a gory, rapid fire boomer. That reminds me of like old school Doom, right? Take control of a mighty Stern Guard veteran and blow <laughs> into the grim, dark universe no. of right. Warhammer. Warhammer! Summoned by the Inquisition, you'll scour Gryia, a forge world on the brink, overrun by cultists, traitors, and chaos demons. It is time to purge the heretics. Oh yeah, definitely like old school too. Your sacred armor and your battle hold instincts. Blast cultists apart with your mighty bolt gun. Smash traitors with your charge. Shred the spawn of the arch enemy with your chain sword. Maim and obliterate. If you're feeling nostalgic, chat. If you're feeling nostalgic, this is it, huh? I like it. Your wrath upon the enemies of the Imperium. Rip. <laughs> Only in death does duty end. For the Emperor! Jump into Warhammer 40,000, Bolt Gun, and purge the taint of chaos on your PC! Warning! Bolt Gun is an unyielding blend of old and new intensified by the most radiant 256 color palette that will literally melt your brain! I will finish the work, Captain Titus Scott. Yeah, next up we've got Void Train, right? Become a crew member of an interdimensional express train. Discover a new uh, world full of mysterious creatures, enemies, and places. Upgrade and customize your train 
gather new materials, and build better weapons. Play solo or online co-op with up to four people. All right, and this one looks like it was released by uh, developer and publisher uh, Hype Train Digital. So this guy here is also on sale. And uh, oh, looks like you can, uh, you can buy a bundle here, too, with uh, Planet Crafter, if you haven't gotten that already. Uh, that might be of interest to you. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll jump into the trailer. All right, so here we go on an interdimensional train. Uh, it looks like we passed through some different gates, so it's linear game progression. Boy Train! In theaters now! That trailer's great. I think they, they I think they really did a knock-up job on this trailer. That feels raft-like. Uh, that totally feels like you're you're building the train based on kind of like raft principles. You get multiple cars you can build out. Are you fighting against other trains? Probably upgrade your armor here as you go along. Look at that thing! <laughs> I love it! Chad, I would totally buy that as a plush toy. I don't know about you. That's cool. I'm digging it. I w yeah, they should sell. They should have like a website where you go buy the plush toy. All right, boy train. There you go. I like it. All right, we've got Delivian Win. So this one's on my wish list. So Delivian Winds is a management game set in a small hamlet at the foothills of a lighthouse. Welcome weary travelers and help each other try to survive the unpredictable weather. Grow your hamlet on land, under the sea, or among the clouds. So we've got a release date of May 25th, 2023. By developer uh, Alambric Studios and publisher Goblins publishing an indie arc. So this is a early access turn-based roguelike city builder. All right, guys, let's check out the trailer. I do like the art style of this game. All right, let's see. Grow your community. Manage your resources. It looks like you've got to repair those buildings. Fish fillet. Fire's almost out. Need your refueling. Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, it does look like you got to repair those buildings. Survive the rising waters. That would make sense why the lower levels were damaged. I get it now. Yeah, there we go. I guess what would be OP is if you could build those uh, levels out of uh, metal. Alright chat, we've got Dead Ink. Dead Ink is a hardcore soul-like game set at a dizzying height atop of perilous vertical world. Use harvest ink from your enemies to print weapons, inventory items, and your corporal form. All right, so this is developer and publisher off with games. All right, so we've got an action RPG. This is gonna be released May 19th, 2023. It's a single player, full controller supported, Steam Cloud, let's go game. All right, let's check a look. Let's take a look at the trailer, yeah? Yeah, definitely, <laughs> it's definitely vertical. So I wonder if this is procedurally uh, generated. Oh, okay, so you print yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. 
this this looks like a, it could be a really interesting game to play. Um, I really want to check this one out. There's a, like a combat uh, progression system built into your character as well. No! <laughs> wow. Okay. That just keeps going and going and going and going and going. All right, well played, developers. Well played. Panorama, right? This looks to me like a dwarven romantic tile building game, right? Like that was like completely inspired from like dwarven romantic, or at least takes a little bit, a little bit from dwarven romantic. I don't know if you played a chat. Great game, and this one looks like a winner too. Relax and unleash your creativity in a new city building puzzle game. Create amazing landscapes and discover a wide range of structures and special abilities. Enter the world of beauty and tranquility with the panoramas of your own creation. And don't forget to pet your new animal friends. Released today, chat, by developer Chicken Launcher and publisher Awaken Realms. All I gotta say, chat, is eat more chicken. Put this one on your wish list. Just looks peaceful, doesn't it? It's just super chill. Just hanging out. You know? Just happy trees. Just painting happy trees. <laughs> no mistakes, just happy accidents. <laughs> it looks good. I like it. Yeah, we've got Drift, an early access game. It says, uh, you were deep in uncharted space on a research mission, disaster struck. Together with your friends, explore mysterious asteroid field and mine whatever resources possible to build what you need to survive. All right, so this is an open world crafting game, survival crafting game with a co-op. Uh, so you can play with friends. This is by uh, developer and publisher Car Game. Let's check out the trailer. All right, so we've got time to empty, right? Looks like, uh, all right, so you got to balance uh, like your O2 and water and all that, life support, right? It looks like you're doing some base building. That's pretty cool. I like that it's kind of like an open world asteroid field. I might actually wishlist this. This is this is looking pretty cool. This is kind of my my sort of game. This is this is my uh, this is my digs right here. Well, tractor beam. All right, so you got different texts to you research, right? So rebuild, explore, survive. This reminds me of um, Station Ears, a bit like Station Ears, only um, you know, different art style. I wonder how the uh, physics play out. Oh, look at that big, big space worm! All right, early access. I think it's, I think it's worth a go. Doom Blade. All right. So deep underground, uh, Gloom Girl discovers Doom Blade, a uh, sentient weapon hell bent on escaping after eons in chains. Together, uh, Doom and Gloom. I get it. I get it. Well played. Uh, embark on a vengeful quest to unlock powerful abilities and destroy the Dread Lords once and for all in this 2D action Metroid Vanya. So this one's set to release uh, May 31st, 2023 uh, by developer uh, Murrow Studios and publisher Iceberg Interactive. 
Uh, let's see, we've got a demo available. It's single player, Steam archives, full controller support, and Steam trading cards. Uh, Steam Cloud as well, so you can save gameplay, right? Anyways, uh, all right, let's go. Let's check out the trailer. That definitely reminds me of Metroid. Yeah, surprisingly, I, I like the art style. Next up, we've got Vivid Lope. So Vivid Lope is a head-spinning, mind-bending arcade game with, pu with a puzzle touch. Master the imaginative realm where the gravity doesn't quite work as you're used to. Overcome your foes and keep on painting. Interesting. All right, so we've got a May 19th release of 2023. Developer and publisher, Jack Lub. This is a puzzle arcade top-down 3D non-linear game with full controller support. So it's uh, just single player and uh, no price yet. All right, let's have a look at the trailer and check it out. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, it is top-down. It's a cute character. That's, all right, so it's like a puzzle action adventure game. I like the art style. That's nice. Oh, okay, yeah, so you're using like a paint roller. Oh, look at that. <laughs> He's got a big hammer. Vivid Lope, Castle of Alchemists. So we've got a uh, defend your castle in this fast-paced tower defense action hybrid with a stunning pixel art graphics. All right, let's see. Uh, play as an alchemy enhanced warrior, Bellatar. Set traps, build towers, craft powerful weapons, and defend your home. Uh, the fate of the castle lies in your hands. So this one's brought to us by developer uh, Machiavelli, and uh, looks like a duo publisher, Etoptric Games and Indie Arc. So this is a early access strategy tower defense game. Let's go ahead and jump into the trailer. Oh, look at this guy, huh? <laughs> the great castle of alchemists has met with a disaster. Fed by greed and corruption, we must awaken him. First of his kind, last line of our defense, Bellator. It's the Duper here, man. Alright. Okay, alright. Hey, I actually, uh, that looks interesting. I love the trap placement games, I, I think they're a lot of fun. It reminds me of, like, uh, All Orcs Must Die, if you've ever played that. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. I, I think this one's a diamond in the rough. Uh, I wasn't at first convinced, but I, uh, I think this could be a really good game. Alright, chat. That's our recap of all the games for May. My top picks. And guys, if you really enjoy this content, please go ahead and, you know, give me a, give me, give me a little like and subscribe. You know, help the channel grow. We appreciate it. Thank you for all the support. And I'll see you in the next one.